In this video, we're going to learn how to design a half adder and a full adder circuit. So a half adder circuit is a combinational logic circuit that is designed to add two single bit numbers. What do we mean by single bit? Single bit means that X can take the value of 0 or a 1, Y can take the value of 0 or a 1. And when we talk about two bit numbers that means that it's a zero one one zero when we have three bit number that's zero zero one zero one zero and etc okay so we can have several combinations right we can add zero plus zero zero plus one one plus zero and one plus one for each one of them we have we're going to have a sum result and a carry result so a sum bit and a carry bit so in the case for example of zero plus one we have a zero one result in that case, our carries are zero and a sum is a one. Same with the one plus one. One plus one, remember, is a two, right? And two in binary is one and a zero. So our carry is one and our sum is a zero. Okay, so how do we design a circuit, right? Remember that in our class previously, we went through several steps. So the first step is to get a true table for our problem statement. Once we get a true table, we can uh, either use Boolean algebra or we can use the min term and the max terms uh, or we can use K-maps for simplification. In this case, we're only going to be using uh, the min terms. So in the case of 0 and 0, 0 plus 0, we have a 0 and a 0. Uh, 0 plus 1, we have a carry of 1 and a sum of 1, I'm sorry, a carry of 0 and a sum of 1. And then we have a carry of 0 and 1 again, and we have a 1 and a 0, just as we are uh, here on the top. So now that we have our truth table, we can get an expression for each of these outputs. So remember, this is an output, and this is an output, okay? So in the case of the carry, can you identify what is that? So that just x and y. Now, in the case of the sum, the case of the sum, we're going to write the min term. So for this one, we have x not y and y and x y not. Okay? And so our sum is equal to x not y plus x y not. This is what we call an XOR. Okay, and you can see other of my videos for a detailed explanation of the XOR. So now the diagram for the half adder would be something like this. So we have x and y, that's for the carry. And we also have an XOR for the sum. Okay, and this is going to be X and this is going to be Y. Now the block diagram for it usually looks like this. So we just put HA for half adder. We have a carry and a sum. Okay. So a full adder is also a combinational circuit that is designed to add two single bit numbers, but also take into consideration another bit, okay, which is the carry in. The carry in is the carry that we get from the previous addition. So let's look at an example so it gets better, so it gets clearer. So one, 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 and one, zero, one, zero for a 10. So 1 plus 0, it's a 1, and we carry 0. 1 plus 1, that's a 2, 0, we carry 1. 1 plus 1, that's a 2, 0, we carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's a 3, which in binary numbers are 1, 1. So we have a 1 of a sum, and we carry 1. And we put it like that. Okay. So the full adder circuit takes into consideration all of these. So your original x, original y, 
And then we also have a carry in from the previous iteration, okay? And those are all inputs. For outputs, we get a sum and we get a carry, similarly to the half adder. But now we're gonna call this one carry out, okay? Just to differentiate from the carry in. Similarly to the half adder circuit, we follow the same procedure where we start with a true table. The true table for the full ladder will be something like this. We have X and Y as inputs, but we also have C in, carry in as input. So if we fill the output, output, and this other output for the true table, it will be something like this. So we're just adding C plus X plus Y. So zero, zero, and zero, that just gives zero and zero. Zero plus zero plus one, it's just a one, same with this one, just a one. Zero plus one plus one, that's a two, so binary two. A one again, binary two, it's a two. And remember one plus one plus one, that's just a three, which is a one, one. If we want to get an expression for this, we can use a K-map, for example. So a K-map for, for C out, okay. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And he will have C in and X and Y, Y, I. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 1. So if we circle in groups like this, So for the purple, for the purple, we have a x1, xi is common, and yi. For the green, we have c in and xi. And for the red, we have c in and yi. And remember these are plus plus and that is equal to C out okay what about the sum Zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one. Okay, this is what we call XOR. So C in XOR and YI XOR. So now the diagram for the full adder will look something like this. C out, remember, is C in XI plus C in YI plus XI and YI. S is equal to, SI is equal to C in XOR X plus XOR Y. So we're going to have three AND gates. Then an OR that's going to be for C out. We're going to have C in XI, then we're going to have C in YI, and then XI YI. For the XOR gate, we're going to have again, we're going to have. C in coming from here, and then X. Have to be a little bit careful with this, and then Y. What is my Y? There you go. So that's for the sum. 
the block diagram for the full ladder is just an FA square with an FA S I C out C out then we have X Y and C in.